hi, it's Megan. So I have another Urban Decay Revolution lipstick. They come in a package like this. Obviously, it's on my lips. It's Gash, and I have some of the old Revolution, uh, some of the old Urban Decay lipstick formula lipsticks. I don't have Gash. So from what I've read on the internet, the this color is the same as the old Gash, but it's the new formula, and so it comes in this beautiful silvery tube. This is only available on Urban Decay's website and I guess it's a limited edition won't be available forever so if you want it get it. it comes like this in this type of a tube I always prefer the regular lipstick bullets but these are fine for application it doesn't bother me that much they're, they're pretty really pretty with the purple it's a cute case these are $22 for 0.9 ounce 0.09 ounce and lipsticks range from about 0.09 ounces to 0.13 just depending so this is about normal it's a fine price um, they call it a deep red with tonal shimmer and I actually have the electric palette with a major review for that in like a minute when I'm done with this one but they said the same thing in a lot of their shadows there maybe I just missed that before but this tonal shimmer thing seems to be the new Urban Decay way of describing and what that essentially means is this is like a I think on me it's a very dark red uh, a little bit more cool than warm toned, but kind of on the cool to neutral on me. But I've got very pigmented lips and kind of neutral to warm skin. It is kind of a red shimmer that you can see. And I don't see it so much inside, and I'll do a swatch on my wrist. My wrist is stained, by the way, from doing a swatch outside. Um, it looks like this, but when you see it out in the light, well, as soon as I swatched it, I'm like, wow, it does have a lot of shimmer in it. So this formula, the Revolution Lipstick, what I like about it is it has that really soft sheen, but yet it's a stiffer texture than some of the super sheen-oriented lipsticks that also come in packages that look like this, which doesn't matter so much for the lighter shades, but it matters a lot for the darker shades. I don't get bleeding with this red, and sometimes with these shiny formulas, I get a lot of bleeding when I go for these darker colors. That's what I like most about this particular formula with this particular color. I really like the sheen. I like the soft shimmery undertone that's not really glittery. It's, it really is like a tonal shimmer. It's like a ruby red color in this darker, almost a berry-ish red. I don't know, almost a vampire-ish kind of red. Um, but you get a luminous sheen that does not bleed and there's nothing that looks worse. I mean, I've walked around before with the red kind of drooping all over my face. It just looks terrible. So anyway, from what I understand, it's the same color, different formula as the old Gash. The formula does feel different than the older lipsticks I have, but to me it feels very much the same as the rest of the Revolution lipsticks that I have. Uh, it does not dry. This particular formula does not dry on me. It does stain. This color lasts like unbelievable and part of it is just that it's hard to get off it does stain so when you have a color that's kind of a deep rich red that stains like this it's gonna look a lot better fading but I can get a good six hours wear out of this where it actually looks good if I'm drinking or eating a lot maybe a little bit less but then you're just gonna I'm gonna get the wear right in the middle here of my lips and so overall I'm really happy with this purchase probably not a color I'll wear every day but I do really like it, and if you're curious, I have two of the colors from the Electric Palette on my face. I've got the Savage as a blush, and I've got Revolt, a silver on my eyes, and as soon as I turn this off, I'm going to do the review for that. So anyway, for me, this is an a lipstick. I like the color on me. It's so dark. I won't wear it every day, and I'm not so sure heading into spring and summer it's the right shade all the time, but I really do love it. It's great quality beautiful pigmented red, doesn't bleed, has that sheen and shimmer without looking over the top. It's just perfect. Um, I think that's it. If you have this color, I would love to hear feedback, especially if you have the old and the new. I would love to hear suggestions for other videos, and please subscribe. And I also have done a novel chapter by chapter called Masks about makeup and the masks we wear on YouTube, and I do videos for my book, Get Your Child to the Top. And now I'm going to do my review for the <laughs>